in the name of my ancestors. Peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. Of course, I am the gatekeeper or the host of this particular program, known here on the internet as the mighty, the mighty, the mighty, and your snub number seven. Mm. I am your brother, and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ra. I remember a few years ago, and I really don't know who it was. I do know I was speaking with a male. And this brother, we were talking, and this brother said to me, he said, Brother Talik, I think, this is just my personal opinion, I think that you are a loner. I think that you do better doing things by yourself. And I said, you were 1,000% correct. Although I speak on YouTube, although I have been on stages in this country, being a comedian, I have performed, sung and danced before not thousands, but many hundreds of people. I have spoken in front of hundreds of people. I am a loner. Ever since I was a child, because of the situation that I was, I had to deal with as a child, I found myself feeling better being by myself, along with my animal friends, my dog or pet chicken or whatever, I always have felt better by myself. So why do I show my face on YouTube? Why did I sing? Why did I dance? Why did I tell the jokes? Why did I do all these different things? I told the jokes and I sung the dance and I wanted to be an entertainer because I love to see people smile. I love to see people happy. And my song and my dance and my jokes and things of this nature, it made people happy and it brought joy to a person who was a loner with a lonely heart. That was my joy. And I do the same here in doing this ministry. Although loneliness, of which I love, some of you think that's bad and we're going to talk about that. Although loneliness is my comfort zone, I am willing to give up being lonely in order to bring to us a word that will help us so that we won't be lonely, so that we can create positive people, better people, or stronger people, people with content of character, all these different things that y'all talk about. But in this world filled with materialism, in this world where everybody's dog eat dog, you're not going to find that. It's better to be lonely and get away from the savages than rather be around them and end up as their prey. So, yes, I am a loner, but I also have a love for people, and I do enjoy being around people who have the correct state of mind, but I know and understand that in this world, we are surrounded by sick people, sick people in your family. Your wife becomes sick, your children sick, the President of the United States is sick. So since I cannot run into a cave and become a hermit, then I just stay to myself and avoid all these issues brought to me by the sick. Look at you on YouTube when you come into the public. People talk about you for no reason. You don't even have to make a video. And some sucker will make fun of you and talk about you and just try to guess. You're living among savage, 
savage, functional, illiterate, drunks, pedophiles, who knows what you're surrounded by. You have to build a ring of fire around yourself to keep these savages away from you. Because not only will they talk about you, but some of them will seek to take your life. So, coming on social media, for some of us who make videos, we get death threats just because of our opinion. But when I am alone, when I stay to myself, all these issues are void. All these issues I don't have to worry about. It's just me and my thoughts and my trying to reach out to the creation and understand life until this life leaves this physical flesh. The human being it seems as though we have been conditioned. I'm not going to say that it's natural, but I'm going to say as human beings, we see and it seems as though we are social beings. We prefer to be among family. We prefer to be married to somebody in a relationship. And some of y'all, you become obsessed with relationship. I got to have me a man. I got to have me a woman. We are family oriented. Let's have a family reunion. Let's get together as family. In the animal kingdom, when you see family among mammals, it is in a, it is in a family setting. Just like many human beings, you have aunts and uncles and brothers and sisters in, in a family setting. Most of these times, that you see these things in nature, it is due to survival. Because the more eyes, the more noses, the more animals you have in this pack, the better it is to look, to look out for danger. And if this is the case, then if we are family, then how come we're not looking out for one another as family? We have all these family, and some of our family is in prison, some of our family is homeless on the street, some of our family is doing bad, you would rather them be homeless on the street than live with you because family can't get along, but y'all want family, so something is wrong, family should be something that benefits us so that we are better equipped to survive, however, there is an opposite side, whereas you have animals who come together. They don't live as family. The male and the female will come together just to have a sexual, uh, a sexual, how you might say it, a one night stand or whatever. And that's it. Then the female goes her way. The male goes his way. Some of y'all do that also. So when some of us talk about we need family, two-parent households, could you explain to me how come a male and a female animal can come together and then the male goes his way, the female goes their way, but the female will have those babies and she will raise male and female with no problem. And the male that she raised knows exactly what to do as a male. Explain that to me. You don't know what you're talking about. You just out here making up answers for things that you don't understand. But nature, if you examine nature, instead of examining the unnatural, nature will give you the answer. That any answer that you wish, most of it is already here. And for that, what you really want to know will come forth from the womb of a woman sooner or later. Will bring you the answer to whatever you're thinking about. The only thing that you need in this life is food, water, and shelter. Probably don't even need shelter. You can be a nomad and just 
live under a tree and go to the next tree or build temporary shelters. But you don't have to have sex. That is not a necessity. That's an option. But y'all have become so sexually charged and obsessed, you think that's unnecessary, and it's not. You think that you have to sleep with somebody. I got to have me a man. I got to have me a woman. You ain't got to have, you don't have to have that. You will live. You will survive very good without that. That's optional. It is better to be alone than in the company of a fool. We live in an environment surrounded by fools and idiots. Some of these fools have money. Some of them don't. And above all, you may not even recognize that you are an idiot, that you are a fool. So fools and idiots can't live good together. And you see this in this environment all over this planet. A bunch of fools trying to live together. Selfish. Materialistic. Individualistic. Mentally sick. Believing in all kinds of fairy tales and fiction. Childish and infantile. But however, those of us who understand these things and want to leave and stay away from the savages, Although we might crave the man, we might crave the woman, we want to be with somebody, but we understand it's better to be alone than in the company of a fool and there's less problems because when you start messing with fools, here come the problems. And that's why y'all spend all your day on YouTube crying and whining, filled with problems. I can't do. They won't do. Why this? Why that? Over and over you. And you spend your mind trying to find answers to problems you will never have. We come into this world alone. You don't come into this world with a wife or a husband. You don't come into this world thinking about no sex or getting drunk and all this other stuff y'all try to present you call say to have fun. You come into this world alone, and you will die alone. Your wife is not going to go with you. Your children are not going to go with you. You're going to die alone. Even twins that come into this world, they develop together, but they come into this world alone. You come into this world by yourself, and you will leave this world by yourself. So what is the big uproar? I got to have me a man. I got to have me a woman and children. You ain't got to have none of that stuff. Those are optional. And when you get these things, they bring you more headaches and problems because you come into a world filled with idiots and fools. People that suffer from these mental problems. I want to have children so they can take care of me. Some of y'all are blessed with children. When you get older, they will take care of you. However, all over this nation, rich and poor, middle class, you have old people in nursing homes and ain't nobody taking care of them except people who are being paid to do that. So you run around, I, I, I want to have all these children so, so, so somebody can take care of me. And you're laying up in a nursing home. Somebody is being paid to give you a bath and feed you and all like that. And you had all these children and they don't give a dang about you for real. Because they got or they have their life to live. Alone. When you spend time with yourself for a change. Instead of running around trying to be with somebody else. Alone makes it possible so that you can finally understand who you are. What is your purpose in life? How can you enjoy this little life that you have instead of running around trying to get together with other people? Because when you share your life with others, that means you have to compromise who you are. You have to learn what they are about. You don't have to be alone. 
There are billions and billions of people on this planet. You don't have to be alone. 